Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, this card was made using a new celebration stamp set called Lovely Lattice. And you can get hold of this in January. Uh, to qualify you must spend £45 or more um, to get this free stamp from Celebration. I did stamp this and cut it out. Um, this paper here is also a new paper. I forgot what it's called. Hang on. It is called Gingham Gala. And it comes in 6x6. Six six. And... There is quite a few colours, balmy blue, um, is that granny apple green, no lemon lime twist, grapefruit grove, daffodil delight and highland heather. Lovely paper, I love the gingham. So that's what we're using. And um, we're also using the pretty label punch, but I cut these bobbles off at the end. So it fits in my little bit. <laughs> Don't know what it's called. And also just some linen thread. So to get started, I've already mounted my stamps. I'm going to change the colour and I'm going to use Calypso Coral. So for this, you'll need a. Let me just get all the bits out because I've already stamped, cut and got everything ready to put the card together but I will go through it again with you apart from the cut now so you need a piece of clips of coral 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths folded in half scored and folded in half two bits of white cardstock at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths to go one to go in the middle and one to go on the front. This one I have run it through a brick wall a effect in bottom folder and that is yeah. It's a Darcy in bottom folder. Stamping up do do one. But as I've got this I don't need stamping up ones. So I've done that already. You'll need a piece of the gingham paper at two and a quarter by three and three quarters. That will sit there. And I've also added, because I've got no ribbon um, in the Highland header, I also added a strip of card just down the side there. I've actually got clips of coral ribbon, but never mind, I'll keep it the same. And then I put an eighth of an inch of white, just to break it up, make it a bit fancy on the side there. So it all become clear when we do it. So first of all, we'll do our stamping. So you need a scrap of white cardstock your big stamp. Now this is one of them cling stamps. I have put the sticker on the back and it's very sticky. The only trouble is if you put this on wrong, this sticker, you can't take it off. It will take the back of the rubber off. So I've put it on the ones I know I could put it on and I haven't put it on some. But that is now, they're not doing woodman stamps. If there's woodman stamps in the catalogue still, annual catalogue, they will honour them. But as of June, um, when they bring out the new catalogue, they will not be doing woodman stamps. They'll be doing cling and photopolymer. 
Right, we'll stamp that on there. That light I've got is shining right on my um, block and I can't see where I'm stamping. Clean my stamp. There we are, one nice clean stamp. also got to be very careful when you lift it off your blocks because they are very sticky. What do I do with the box? Oh, up here. Now we also want to stamp one of the little flowers and it goes on top of our sentiment. So we'll just do one of them there. Clean it off. Let's see what I mean about it. Being very well stuck. Just got to be very careful. Put it away. And then for the sentiment, the thank you. I took from this other new cling stamp set, humming along, and I used that word thank you. It's a very pretty set. So, I'll do that that way. On, wrong lid on the ink. Right, that thank you we can punch out. These bubbles, I just went right in the corner and up to its corner and I just cut them off. And there we have it. So I'll put that there because I know I'm going to shout, Where is it? like I've done before. Right, to colour this in, we're using blends, we're going to use Clips of Coral. Daffodil Delight and I'm not going to colour it all in I'm just going to colour in a few things and this is Old Olive and I forgot to get Smoky Slate out for the la the trellis at the back but you'll know what that is don't need to see me colouring in them bits. So all I did was very roughly, let's have to get this one here because we need to colour this in, just went round the middles with the Daffodil Delight and then with the Dark Calypso Coral I just did the middles, just a little tiny bit there line it tightly a bit and the same there and then there. and then with the light I coloured in the whole flower you notice I'm not going right to the edge 
That's because I go over the edge with a um, with the dark. And then with the dark, the thin end, what I've done is the top of each flower, I just went round the top on the outside, well, the inside. So the top of these ones and any of the folds that I filled in the folds because they are going to be dark And then what I did, I went back over with the light You can do all the dark first and then go over with the light So if you're doing two coats That's completely up to you going to be your flower. Colour any way you want. But I'm just showing you what I've done. And then with the old olive we just go around and colour all the leaves in. I'm being really tidy with this I must say. Keep going out the lines. Um, the little flowers on here, you see these little flowers, I just coloured them all in Daffodil Delight. And I also did like the rose or the buds of the flowers. I did them in yellow. Daffodil the light. And all the greenery and everything. And then in the centre of these little flowers I just did a bit of Calypso Coral Light. And that, and then I cut it out. I cut, coloured all the um, trellis in smoky slate, and then I cut it out, and that is what I've come up with. I think it's quite pretty. I also cut out the little flower and got that. which will 
stick on there. So don't worry that won't go to waste, I will use it. Let me just take a drink. So we will put this card together. What we'll do, we'll get our glue. Need to change my glue, it's not dried up. And we'll just stick this one eighth of an inch of white card in there. And then we'll stick this on the side of here. And we can trim it down. So we'll just just pop a little bit of glue on the edge. And then trim that down. And that can sit on there. So we'll glue this on. Leaving a little border all the way around. And there we have that with the brick wall on the other side. So we'll glue this in place. Extra glue on the emboss bit. sit just on there like that. In fact it looks better with the wall embossed, the white embossed. But sit that on there. We're going to put it on dimensionals. We also want dimensionals on the back of that. So Use up the edging. Right, I need a couple of little ones. Just to support these bits. that there and put one of them there. Dimensional overload. That's me. Oh, what? on. 
we're just gonna half on, half off. Right. Take all these backings off. trouble getting these off. I broke about five nails putting the Christmas tree up. So I've cut the rest down. And my back is absolutely killing me. That's why I've done prepared a lot before right let's pop this in I was gonna stamp and color in a that small flower on the inside but I mind do that off camera. All we need now is some gems and they are over here. Um, I think we'll put gold ones on. I actually need to sort this box out. Get rid of the gems I'm not using and put in some new ones. I do have a drawer full of them. Right, I'm just going to scatter three on here. I've never put any gems on the other one. Oh, I know what else we've got to do. We've got to do a bow. I've got this reel of linen thread so make my loop put it around my finger feed it through and then shorten it we only want a tiny bow and then cut it off and there can go in the bin. Right. What I did do with this is I stuck a blob of glue on it. And just held it for a few seconds. There we are. Rather pretty spring light thank you card. Remember, this time of year you need loads of thank you card. Well, depends on how many presents you get. But yes, there you have it. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Um, and press the notification button next to the subscribe button. And you'll be notified of any videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and hope to see you again soon. Bye.